Satan wants to use your mind as his garbage dump, but you don't have to let him in. I'll show you the number one way to resist his trash. Often, the first place the devil attacks is the mind. This is why the mind is called the devil's playground. Because thoughts are the forerunners to actions. If Satan can inject wrong thinking, he'll eventually trip you up. Think about it. Things like depression, fear, and temptation almost always begin in your thoughts. Satan wants nothing more than to use your mind as his garbage dump. He'll whisper things like, you'll never overcome that. God doesn't love you. Or even, just one look, just one taste, one feel won't hurt. These doubts, lies, and temptations are what the Apostle Paul referred to in 2 Corinthians 10.5 as arguments and obstacles that exalt themselves above the knowledge of God's Word. In other words, Satan's attacks most often begin as thoughts that he builds up to be more real and tangible than the truth of God's Word. When we entertain these thoughts for too long, that's when we eventually act out upon them. We all know the power of this. When you think about your life compared to someone on Facebook, you start to feel down. When you think about an unknown situation, you begin to worry. And if you're like me, when you start to think about an ooey gooey chocolate something, you eventually have to have it. Truly, where the mind goes, the man follows. But as a Christian, you don't have to take it. No, a word of victory given in James 4, 7 promises that you can resist the devil and he will flee. So how do you do this? Well, if the attack starts in the mind, then you should begin there. And that's precisely what the second part of 2 Corinthians 10, 5 instructs. It says that we are to take every thought captive to obey Christ. Practically speaking, this means that when a negative or tempting thought pops into your mind, you can take it captive by countering it with a truth from God's Word. Let's try this for a few situations. If it's lust, counter it with Romans 13, 14. I clothe myself in Christ and I stop indulging in my flesh and its desires. Anxiety? Replace it with 1 Peter 5, 7. I cast all of my worries on the Lord because He cares for me. Discouraged? Make it a prisoner to Psalm 30, 11. God has turned my sadness into joyful dancing. While it's true that you might not be able to control the thoughts that drop into your mind, you don't have to entertain them, and your life doesn't have to be ruled by them. Satan will flee, and his influence in your life will diminish when he realizes that your mind is ruled by God's Word and no longer open to his trash. <music>